What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Fox Body Stuff. So, in today's video, we are going to get the pimp set up and we're going to get all the jumpers set up so we can actually put this in the car and start up. So, this is the Pimp XS for a sequential v8 uh, application so i have the startup guide open so we can install the jumpers per stinger performances instructions <laughs> and we can get this thing all set up so then all we got to do is plug it in the car run the couple wires we got to run to it and then be done with it so we got to open this thing up and that's what today's video is going to be about so let's get right on into it so the first thing you're going to have to do is Stinger Performance sends you a thumb drive and you're going to have to download that thumb drive to your computer and then all, it has everything you could ever need. There should be a base tune on there and there's going to be the startup guide. So the startup guide is what we are going to be working with today. And so this ECU is controlled all by jumpers and the different jumpers does different things in this uh, box. So what we got to do is open it up and so I got a 7 16 ratchet because there's six bolts on this thing or six, yeah, six bolts. We got to take it off and then look at the motherboard and we can install these jumpers. So the bottom is not attached after you take it apart, just FYI. So we are only going to be working on this green board. We're not going to be working on the black board at all because I don't, because that's what they told us to do. So all of our jumpers are going to be on the, this green board. We won't be referencing the blackboard. And so now we're looking at the motherboard and make sure everything is very clean while you're working with this because you don't want crap getting in here. You don't want, just make sure you got a clean environment before you start touching stuff. All right, let's get right into it. We got our bag of jumpers right here and let's get some laid out because there are quite a few. We are on V8 sequential. I'll have a, this on the screen. And so this is with the TFI distributor, like I have right now. We are going to uh, LS coil, cam angle sensor, the, th the kit that um, Stinger provides. We are going to do that, but for right now, I just want to get the car started up. I'm not going to change any of the ignition stuff because I don't want to deal with that right now. So we're just going to install it with the TFI distributor right now. So it says that we need jumpers JP1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 14, 19 and pins 2, 3 to 12 volt. All right, so let's just start in order. So JP1, there it is, JP1 in the top right. It's like kind of angled. All right, JP2, and that is, okay, down near the right. Oh God, okay. All right, so the jumpers have a little bit of play in them, so don't be scared to push down on it. Now JP4. Let's find that. Okay, JP4, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're gonna do all of those. So then there's a row of them all right here. We're gonna do that. JP4, five, six, seven, eight. All five of those are in. So we got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we got to do 13, 14, and 19. So let's find 13. JP 13, injector seven. It's the last one. It's going to be the bottom row of this thing in the bottom right corner. This motherboard is laid out really nice. You can find everything pretty easily. And then JP 14, that's in the top right corner. There we go. All right. So the jumpers are on. So we have JP1, JP2, JP4, JP5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 14, and 19. Oh, JP19 pins 2, 3. So that means it's going to be on the far left. All right. And then JP19. Almost forgot it. So JP19 is right there, and it's a 3 pin one. And you can see right there, I'll have to zoom in on it, but it has a 1 position and 2 and 3. So you're on the pins 2 and 3 which is 12 volt and even says it on the bottom of the motherboard 12 volt right next to it so that's the jumper you go to that is it for the mandatory jumpers okay so now we're going to get into some optional jumpers that you don't have to install to make it run but if you want it you got to install these jumpers so the first one is if you have an electric fan and you want fan control you have to install a jumper on jp3 and jp3 even on this thing it says fan so pretty simple right <laughs> So we're going to install this because we are not running an electric fan yet, but we will be running an electric fan at some point. And 
probably don't want to take this thing back apart to do that. So for right now, we're going to put a jumper on JP3, just so we have the option. All right, so the next one for me, I'm going to install a boost control jumper, JP9, on here. And it even says boost on it. <laughs> they have this worked out pretty well, if I do say so myself. One of the jumpers I'm going to install, and I'm not... 100% clear about it's a table switching jumper. All right, so I wasn't clear about what the table switching feature was at first, but I am now. Uh, so I'm going to be running flex fuel, but I have a sensor for the flex fuel. So I don't need this table switching option for my project. So this feature of the Pimp XS or MS3 is that you have a table for a different type of fuel than what you're running. So you would wire in a toggle switch to actually flip it on and flip it off. So if you were you want to run ethanol but you didn't have a flex fuel sensor what you would do is wire in a switch to your car and when you put ethanol in the tank you would click it on and you would have a different table or a different fuel map or spark map it'd be a different table that you'd be working off of in the ms3 or the pimp and that's what the t actual table switching would mean it works for 100 octane works for different fuels that you've been using but that's what the table switching feature is for I wasn't clear on it at first, but if you have a sensor like a flex fuel sensor like I have, this doesn't really apply to you. So I installed it, but I really didn't need to. Which is JP11. And it's right under the boost one on JP9. It's like right in the middle. So we have JP9 and JP13. So um, it's going to be this center one right here. I'm going to install that real quick for table switch just because so these jumpers are the ones i'm going to use there are other jumpers on here that you may want or not want but there are more jumpers to do more things but these are the ones that i need right now to make the car run so these are the ones we're going to use if you're if you are running two wide bands you will have to install another jumper but we're only running one so we don't have to worry about that the following thursday okay <laughs> and so there are Two jumpers in specific that I wanted to talk about before I said we're good. So I installed the distributor in jumper and for now the distributor is in obviously and I'm going to start the car this way. We are doing LS coils and when the LS coils go in and we switch to a cam angle sensor the distributor jumper needs to be pulled out but that will be in the upcoming video. And then another jumper that has to be installed for the LS coils is an intrinsic tack output and it's on one of the jumpers. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it'll be in the video and you'll probably see it right around here somewhere. So those two jumpers will be installed on my build as well. I just want to throw that in there just in case anybody was wondering, well, if you're going to start the car, you're going to do LS coils, it's not going to work. And so there it is. It'll, it, I just want to get it started. So in the next video, we're gonna get the Mega Squirt wired in, or the Pimp XS. I'm getting all these names confused. So we're gonna get the Pimp XS. Well, what kind of names are those? Mega Squirt and the Pimp X. Whatever. Okay. So um, in the next video, we're gonna get the Pimp wired up and start up on the engine settings that we have now, get it running. And then we're gonna pull it back apart and put the LS coils on it and start up again and do that so that'll all be up in the next videos and again if you found if you liked the video please like comment subscribe it helps my channel a ton and i appreciate you guys that have followed along from the beginning and have been sticking through it because i was thinking about it today at work is all i want to do is drive this stupid mustang and i feel like it's just a never-ending project and it's killing me thank you guys for following along and i'm having a fun time doing these videos so have a good day, or <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.